Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of May 5th through May 11th, and we're going to look at past, present, and near future energies. Also, Taurus, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do so is in the description box below. Wow, I love seeing you in a position of power in the recent past. You're also unhappy here. Okay. So, Taurus, the main energy for your reading this week is a Three of Cups. I feel like there is definitely an energy of wanting to spend time with somebody. Now, I don't know if this is I want to reconcile with them. It could just be like, I want to be in this person's company. I want to spend time with them. I want to hang out with them. Like, this is the desire that you have. Now, we'll see because I don't feel like you're actually getting your desire achieved here. In the recent past, you get the Hierophant, the Four of Cups, the Page of Cups. You're showing up in a very powerful position opening up your reading here in the recent past. But you're also unhappy about something pertaining to love. I feel like there's a brand new budding relationship. It's almost between you and somebody else where it's kind of like a like a fresh start. So it could be a fresh start with somebody from your past or it could just be like a fresh start with somebody new. It's bringing you unhappiness here. It's almost like you're like, this doesn't feel good to me. Like this doesn't make me happy. This is kind of like bumming me out and it shouldn't because it's, it's, you know, it's love. So like, why is this making you unhappy? We'll see when we clarify. Now in the current situation, you get the King of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Page of Wands. You have a desire, you have an attraction towards something or someone. The more time passes though, the less intensely you feel about this. It's almost like when it starts off, whatever this is between you and this person, your passion is like a roaring flame. You're like, I want this person, I'm drawn to them. Like uh, this person is like attractive, they're confident. Like I want this person. The more time passes, you kind of go from, I want this person to, I mean, this person's cool. Take it or leave it. You know, I could, I could deal with them. I could do something else. Like it's, it's no big deal to me. Right. So it's kind of like the, the intensity of your desire towards whatever this is, person, business, whatever decreases, the more time passes. Now in the near future, you get the nine of wands, the two of pentacles and the empress. Taurus, you're very defensive here. And the reason you're defensive is because you're confused. You're confused about something. I don't know what this is, but it's almost like you're showing me I'm in my power. I want to be in my power, but the way for me to get into my power is to guard myself, is to protect myself. But I'm confused about why I'm protecting myself. Does that make sense? It's almost like an energy of like, it feels safe in here. It feels good in my little cocoon. This is where I feel the most confident, but there's confusion around that. Like, is this the right choice? Do I need to be in my cocoon or do I need to step out? Let's see. Let's clarify. I hope your energy is not like Virgo's because Virgo's reading was all over the place. Their energy was a hot mess. Let's take a look at the Three of Cups, which is the main energy for your reading this week. Okay. You get the Three of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. Um, you want a reconciliation? I'm sorry to break it to you. If you do not have somebody specific in mind that you would like back in your life, this reading is probably not for you. And I feel like you've been wanting this person back in your life for quite some time. For the Three of Cups, you get the King of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Devil. This person, the specific individual that you want back in your life, you want to have a brand new beginning in love with them. And you do care a lot about them. And you do want to reconcile with them. The Devil is showing up here to let me know that this may be like an on and off pattern with you two. Where... It's like, it could be you enacting this, it could be them, it could be the both of you when you come together, where it's like, I want love, I want to start over. And then you do, you have that new beginning, and then something happens, and then you go back on this loop of, okay, I guess we're going to wait, and I want, the, I want them back again. Something happens, da da da, okay, I want them back again. I'm seeing an unhealthy pattern tied up to reconciling and to having brand new beginnings with a specific person. Let's see. I'm going to clarify the Hierophant, which is your energy in the recent past. The Hierophant is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Hermit, the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you may be dealing with a Virgo um, or somebody that has Virgo in their chart. You're showing me I made the decision to end things with this person. 
I separated. I walked away. I put an end to this. It was painful. It was difficult. I don't care. I needed to put an end to this and walk away. And you're showing me twice that there's a separation here. And you're the one that chose to end it. You're the one that chose to separate from this person. Let's take a look at the Four of Cups in the recent past. Four of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Swords, the Sun, the Four of Wands. You're unhappy because you don't trust something here. You're showing me there's a connection. There's a bond. I feel like it's different than this one. You're showing me there's a different bond that I have, something or someone that made me very happy. This was a very intense bond between me and this person, but I'm giving up on it. I'm giving up because I don't trust this person. I don't believe them. Like something's fishy about this person and you don't want to walk away. You don't want to give up on this. It makes you unhappy to do so, but you're showing me I'm still doing it because something about this person, something about this connection don't sit right. The fact that it doesn't sit right makes you unhappy. And so you're like, yeah. The love is there. I mean, the passion is there. The happiness is there. The trust is not there, at least not for you, Taurus. Let's take a look at the Page of Cups for you in the recent past. Page of Cups. Okay, listen, you be dealing with multiple people. I feel like you be dealing with multiple people, Taurus. I don't feel like you just got one connection. You got options. The Page of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords. There is a brand new beginning in love with somebody else here. It's like a little spark, like a little flame, kind of like a little, little flirtation between you and this person. The feelings are there. The passion is there. And this person makes you happy, whatever this is, right? Like it could be a new connection. It could be something. Something kind of ignites that spark for you. And it lights you up and it makes you happy. But along with that, it makes you start overthinking. There's a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of overanalyzing tied up to this connection, whoever this is for you. I don't feel like it's the same one that you chose to end, okay? I don't feel like it's the same one that you decided to walk away from. I feel like there's somebody else like on the side, which is like, hey, this person makes me happy. I'm attracted to them. It's something new. It's something fresh. There's a lot of overthinking here though. It's like the happiness comes in and then the overanalyzing and the overthinking also comes in with it, tied up to this connection. Let's take a look at your current situation, see what this King of Wands is for you. King of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Two of Wands. I feel like you're waiting for this forever energy. There's somebody showing up here for you, which you're showing me. This has potential. It's showing up as friendship at this point. I don't see love. I don't see, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this person. Like I love them so much. No, it's showing up more like we hang out, we have fun, but I see the long-term potential. I see this possibly going somewhere and you're very attracted to them. So it's not like, you know, like you're, it's not there. Um, you see the potential, but you're like, I, this needs more time. I don't know if this is going where I think it's going. Maybe, maybe not. Time will tell. I need to see. But you are feeling pretty optimistic about whoever or whatever this connection is showing up for you in the current situation. Let's take a look at the three of wands for you in the current situation. The three of wands is clarified by the strength, the queen of swords, the nine of cups. There's a desire here. You have a wish for something. You're not showing me what it is, but you're showing me, I want something. I want someone. That's my wish. That's my desire but it's taking a long time to get here. And the longer it takes, the more time passes, the more you kind of lose hope in the fact that this is ever going to happen. You're showing me it's hard for me to wait. It's difficult for me to wait. Like I want this person, job, whatever, right? Whatever this thing is that I desire, I want it. I want it now. And it's hard for me to wait. It's difficult for me to wait. And the more I wait, the more emotionally closed off I am. Like I'm not allowing myself to emotionally connect to this desire. And again, I'm going to give you the same example that I gave Virgo. It's like, I want this rock, but I can't get it. I don't know when I'm going to get it, but I know that if I wait long enough, maybe I'll get it. And you're like, okay, well, why do you want it? I don't know. I just want it. Do you feel like you love the rock? Do you care about the rock? No. Okay, then why do you want it? I don't know. I just want it. Then why are you waiting for it? I don't know, but I need to wait because, you know, I have to wait for it. I want it. It's kind of an energy of, I want this, 
I'm waiting for it. It's hard for me to wait. I don't want to wait. But the more I wait, the more I lose hope. But I want this. I know. I know. It doesn't really make sense even when I say it out loud. Let's just put it this way. You're not very patient. Whatever this is, you want it yesterday. And the more you wait, the more you lose hope that you're ever going to get it. Let's take a look at the Page of Wands in the current situation. Page of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Emperor, and Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Like I said, your desire, your intensity, your passion for whoever or whatever this is, is slowly decreasing. It's like the more time passes, the more you're like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be hoping for this. Maybe I shouldn't be, you know, wanting this. Maybe I should just, you know, detach myself emotionally from this. Your heart is somewhat connected to this desire. The more time passes, the more closed off your heart becomes. The more you enter an energy of, yeah, I'm not going to make a move. I'm not going to budge. And I feel like when, when I see this energy of I'm not going to budge, I'm not going to make a move, it's telling me that it's involving another person. You want somebody. There's somebody in particular that you have in mind here. You want it. It's taking too long. You're emotionally trying to detach and disconnect from this until eventually you get into your stubborn Taurus position and you're like, you know what? No, I'm not making any moves. I'm sitting right here. I'm not budging. I'm not moving. If they want something, they can come to me. I get it. I get it. I can see the frustration in your energy. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see what this nine of wands is for you in the near future. The nine of wands is clarified by the page of swords, the three of cups, the six of swords. Yeah, you, this desire to reconcile with this person, you're, you're giving up on it. It's like, it's taking too long. They're not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. It's like nothing's happening and you're just sitting here in an energy of like guarding yourself and your little, your little cocoon, your little, you know, your little fortress. And you're like, yeah, I'm not budging. They're not budging. This is never going to happen. Just, just give up on this. Just give up. <clears throat> and I see you actually giving up. I don't see you just being like, oh, you know, I'm giving up now. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. No, no. This is like, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. Like, I don't, I don't want this anymore. You do want this, but it's like, I, I'm done with this. I'm leaving this behind. Let's take a look at the two of pentacles for you in the near future. The two of pentacles is clarified by the queen of cups, the hanged man, the knight of cups. So you keep bouncing back and forth between this energy of, again, there's two energies showing up here for you, Taurus. I feel like you're dealing with two people. One is new, kind of fresh, like a flirty romantic you know we just started dating the other one you've got history with the other one it's like i love you you love me on an energetic level i don't feel like anything's happening in the real world you keep bouncing back and forth between should i invest my energy in trying to get this person from my past back or should i invest my energy in new connections and finding new people to date what do i do and because you're confused, I don't see you doing anything. I see you just kind of being like going with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. You know, like there's really no decision on your part. So there's no direction. You're not moving either way. You're just kind of like whatever comes my way. Cool. I'll, I'll, I'll handle it then. There's no decision being made here for you. Let's take a look at the Empress for you in the near future. The Empress is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Page of Wands. So there is, like I said, the person for you, and then there's the other people around you. In the near future, I see you slowly, slowly, Taurus, moving in the direction of the person, that one person that you want. I see you being the one to be open to it, to move in that direction. And you're moving very, very slowly. So much so where you look at it, you're like, I'm probably not moving at all. Energetically, you are. Energetically, you're open to them. Energetically, you're moving in their direction. And the energy that you bring is pretty good. It's like a very curious, open-hearted type of energy. Um, but you're moving very, very slowly, very, very cautiously here. Let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this week, Taurus.
from the universe. You get the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. You're making a strategic decision here to open up. I feel like you're communicating with someone, but it's it's very cold. It's very logical. It's like if you and this person talk, it, it almost comes across like a business transaction. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Monday, coffee, 2 p.m.? Yeah, cool, that works. There's no feeling here, Taurus. There's no feeling because you're not allowing yourself to feel. You're, again, business transaction. That's all I'm getting here. Let's close off the reading with some advice. I don't know why you're so closed off here. Um, but I feel like something's taken too long. It's taken too long. And you're kind of just like, ah, forget it. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I do like seeing that. And I do see that in the near future where that cycle of indecision, that cycle of should I, shouldn't I, will this work, will this not work, that's coming to an end. And you're slowly moving out of it, like a typical Taurus. So Taurus, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you here next week.